Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my bedroom as I get to return to the world of Ted Lasso. This is season two. The season premiere was everything, everything I love in good visual storytelling, television, movie, entertainment. The witty dialogue, jokes, heart, surprises, all the things. And I'm so excited for season two to continue. We have a new employee question mark dr sharon livingston livingstone team therapist she was there for danny but the other players are also finding her helpful will ted find her helpful or will she somehow be an adversary will she somehow break ted for a bit until he comes back to his tedness I guess I should say, will this make him question everything he does and do and, and does does and does does and feels and believes and thinks? Big huge question mark. Roy is also struggling with what he is doing. He's coaching his niece's soccer team. Fabulous, but the season ends soon. And then what? I think Rebecca's gonna have a journey of loving herself. And Jamie is having a journey of finding something <laughs> on lust, lust it or leave it. I don't know what it was. <laughs> That's how he's spending the off season. Very Jamie like. But okay, so let's just dive into it. I've got the big cozy blanket. I have my water. I have all of you who are going to remember that if you want to, you can watch the full episode with me on Patreon, because, oh my gosh, last episode, I had to cut so much out. I had to cut so much out. So if you want to see the whole thing on me, go to Patreon. Otherwise, for here, you're always welcome to give a subscribe, like, comment, all the fun things you know what to do. So if you're ready, I'm ready, and let's get to it. Nightclub? Sort of. Lust Conquers All. That's the name of the show. The audience at home has voted. D'Anthony, Jamie. D'Anthony? D'Anthony. Better call your nan, mate. Tell us to put the kettle on. I think, I think Jamie's going home. Jamie, the lust stops here. Oh! <laughs> yes! Oh, that is an absolute shocker. Unlucky, really. Yeah, but we are lucky. Unlucky. Oh no, is this the season of unluckiness? First things first, will you keep your promise to Amy? Are you gonna wait for her? Nah, no, it's just, I was just playing <laughs> a game. Do you know what I mean? Find the fittest girl there, have sex with her in the toilet, ask her to marry her, not strategy. You decided to it's leave your club, Man City, uh, right at the start of their season. He did? It's just something I had to do, do you know what I mean? The second that I found out that George Harrison had died, I realised I had to stop waiting for life to begin. George Harrison died 20 years ago. Yeah, but I just found out. He's self-destructing. Uh, uh, Man City, if Pepper loves me, that is. Ah, yes, Jamie. You know, my wife and I really thought he and Amy were meant for each other. But no, he won't be coming back to Man City. Because you're being a dick. Well, thanks for stopping by, Jamie. Good to see you, as always. <laughs> when we come back, have scientists really discovered low-fat custard that doesn't make you sad. Sounds too good to be true. <laughs> Jamie, you are self-destructing. He has no, no support system, no friends to tell him straight because he... was not a good friend back. That's what I was going to say. Did it begin with the word F and end with the words them over? Yes. And if you're wondering about the hat, it's a bad hair day. And I had to go out in public and do this. So hat and pigtails it was. You slept here last night? Why? Jane and I got in a fight last night. Hey, you two are like Frank Sinatra and Ava Gardner, you know, or uh, yes, Frank Sinatra are. and Mia Farrow. Or uh -huh. Frank and... Actually, you know what? Starting to realize that old blue eyes might have skewed mercurial. I'll smell this. My Parisian bedroom. Somebody changed the fabric softener. 
Whoa, which you should whoa. not be using anyway. Dude, Nate. Nate. Did you put lavender scented fabric softener in the laundry? Yes, yes I did. Uh, my girlfriend loves lavender. She finds it very calming. <laughs> Apparently Nate does not. Don't make changes that could throw off a player's headspace. We don't want calm athletes, we want killer athletes. Even after they shower? Do you sleep here? Perchance to dream here. <laughs> no. Hey. Oh yeah. I was gonna cook you cordon bleu for dinner. Yeah. Nigella says if you butterfly the chicken, it'll be more moist. How how else do you make a cordon bleu without butterflying the chicken? I guess if you roll it up. Yeah. yeah. What is Ted doing? Probably homesick. Closest thing he can find to a Dodge Ram. Oh. Yeah, you all don't have Dodge Ramses or pickup trucks. You have lorries. It's not hey, the Kenny? same as a pickup uh -oh, truck. Oh, that big bad Roy Kent there? I don't know why I say you all. as if like you're all in England. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how many of you are out there you know, from the England. Really help out my butt. Wow. Oh, that's the Frank Hill thing. <laughs> With the riding lawnmower. That's not a bike. That's a Transformer. Yeah, she really is more than meets the eye, ain't she? Hey, Doc! Sir Sharon? Waka, waka, waka! I thought he got tired of the rest of the season, didn't he? Well, but did he? Did he? And Ted did not know. Did you hire Dr. Sharon without running by me first? Uh, yes, I thought he couldn't hurt, but I should have asked you first, Ted. You're absolutely right. No, I'm dead wrong. I mean, heck, you're director of football operations. You know, you gotta be able to make your own decisions. <laughs> Still, you should have texted me first. That's 100% true. No, 1,000% false! This is putting Ted in a tizzy. No, I will not. Good, why should you? I ain't your daddy. <laughs> why does it smell like my Nana's house in here? <laughs> oh, Wait until you hear this shit. <laughs> Ooh, do tell, Ricky Bell. <laughs> no one wants you. Hmm. What's this his agent? You're too much of a liability. You act like an arsehole and disappear on Man City. Maybe it's time for you to focus on your television career. This is Tracy, mm. your new talent agent. New talent agent. How do you feel about taking ecstasy every night for three straight weeks? If you want to drop dead at the end of them. I've never taken ecstasy, so there we go. You know you're like a son to me. You know you're like a dead son, which means I love you even more. I, I just brought you a little something, something for your first day of work. No, thank you. Oh, come on now. Just try a little bite, huh? You could have just accepted them and just not eaten them. But I don't eat sugar. Really? Wow. In a past life, I would inhale a Cadbury's flake, talk nonsense for an hour until I pass out. Well, I'm the same way with video games. Hey, what's your favorite book? This is interesting. What is? And my answer is the fountainhead. I know a curveball, right? But I can explain. This is obviously your way of connecting with new people. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's very disarming. If it's okay with you, Coach Lasso, I'd like to observe training today. See how everything's functioning. Yes, football's mental, okay. but it's also well, physical and strategic and interesting. Is it tacky to say I'm rich on an online dating profile? I only should put the word filthy in front of it. Comfortable. You can say comfortable. Sorry. Higgins, I think it's very kind oh. that you gave your office to Sharon. And I think it's very interesting. Rebecca let Higgins let her take his her couch. I don't even know if I formed a real sentence there, but I think you know what I meant. Hey, Higgins. Oh, who's your new friend here? Oh, hi, Robert. My name's Ted. My name's Jimmy. Jimmy Paper? <laughs> Paige. Oh, I boofed that. I'm sorry. That was a great one. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Oh, I try to give your biscuits <gasps> to Dr. Sharon. Evidently, she doesn't eat sugar. What a fucking asshole. Yeah. You ever been to a therapist, Rebecca? <laughs> what for? I can diagnose myself in a heartbeat. Can she? I thought being invulnerable would protect me, so I pushed people away for years, leading me directly to my greatest fear, being alone. Uh, speaking of, you got anything you want to get off your chest? No. You? No. See, there you have it. Nice talk. Yeah, okay. Jamie? Dude. 
I'm not stalking you. I've been following you for like a few blocks now and I, I couldn't text you because I deleted your number. I left Man City to do this reality TV show thing and I got kicked off of both and so now I don't really know what I'm doing. Keely, do not solve his problem. You are, he's not your child. You can give a helpful ear, but do not fix this for him. You deleted my number. You'll play the hell of a game. Oh, but they lost. Oh no. Emily's mum bought everyone consolation trophies. Must be nice to just burn cash. <laughs> Best dressed. It's stupid, you're all wearing the same thing. <laughs> you. You. Right, you know what? Just get amongst it. Enjoy your trophies for winning nothing. <sighs> Look, when I was young, you got shouted at for losing. Same, but then tough love never bothered me. You know, as long as I knew the coach gave a shit. Ooh, 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 ooh. It has been an honor coaching all of you. I do hope you'll come back and play next year. But only if you fucking mean it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I love how they just think he's the life. Oh God, Jamie's in the dining room. Unless, unless, unless they're not even there. He's home alone. Mm. Keely? <laughs> What's she watching is what I'm wondering. What's she doing there? <gasps> Nothing. What is she watching? Show me. No. Come on, don't be embarrassed. Whatever it is, it's fine. It's gonna be her and Jamie. I am announcing <gasps> my retirement. I was not expecting this. The fuck? This is your kink. You're being passionate and vulnerable. God, it's fucking hot, and you haven't been like that since you left football. Well, at my age, with a fuck me, I don't get to be a football player anymore. That's how it works. Yeah, but you can still be passionate and vulnerable. You miss it, Roy. I know you do. You're just like Jamie. I didn't think this conversation could get any worse. He wants to come back and play for Richmond. For reals? But at least he's trying to find his way back. See? Pathetic. No! It's brave. Can't get hurt if you don't try. If you don't try, then I'm just gonna have to sit here, wanking to videos of you crying. Fine. But when it sucks and I hate it, I'm gonna hire a bunch of children to follow you around and scream, told you so, told you so, for centuries. And he knows a group of children. Oh. Named him Ted. <laughs> After Ted Danson. All time great. I mean, he's basically the male version of Julia Louis Dreyfus. He's like the female version of Dave Grohl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How you been? Uh, awesome. Yeah. Best. Pretty good. Okay. A little depressed. Yeah. It's all shit, Ted. <laughs> Wondering, like, what the chances were of me coming back to play for your Richmond. I don't know, Jamie. You burn a lot of bridges over there. Look, coach, I need Richmond. Yeah, he does. And Richmond needs you. Hey. Oi, you three, fuck off. Oh, yeah, of course, mate. Fucking off now. Old people are so wise. <laughs> They're like tall Yodas. <laughs> Some of them are as tall as Yoda. Such as my grandmother, but she's not as wise as Yoda. <laughs> no. Why'd you do that reality show? I don't know. Just thought it'd be fun. That'll boost my brand. Stick it to your dad. Did it to piss off me, Dad. Mm -hmm. Sometimes having a tough dad is exactly what drives certain fellas to become great at what they do. Was your old man like that? No. So what do you say then, Coach? Jamie, you're an amazing player. I don't think it's a good idea. Oh, look at you go, Dad, go. So how does Jamie, Jamie, Jamie make up for what he has done? That was last night. What are you all fussing over? Looks like Jamie's coming back to Richmond. You're assuming. 
It looks like they're sitting on his hand. You are assuming. You know what happens when you assume. Somebody ordered training extra spicy today? Yeah, it's got that Nando's Perry Perry sauce on it. What the fuck you waiting for? How come every time I look back there, it's like she's getting closer and closer? Oh. oh. Is a is a pineapple in this? Oh. And with Ted, we've been overrun by incompetent outsiders. I don't think I said that, did I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on now, she's definitely getting closer. <laughs> hey, Sam, hold up. Make Danny chase it down like it's a loose toddler in a busy parking lot. Oh, so you think you can do better? Oh, yeah, come out here and do it then. Hey! Get... Hey, Sam, I'm just trying to help the team here. Bullshit. I guess Sam doesn't like Jimmy Buffett. Who's Jimmy Buffett? <gasps> oh, they've never been to a piano bar. No. Really? Because it seems like you got something on your mind. I mean, I am angry. Oh. And I did cost, and every time I do, I regret it. All right, come on, talk to me. I can't believe you're bringing Jamie back to the team. What? Uh, have we won yet? No, but we will. I believe that. Don't you? I mean, just because Jamie can't score goals doesn't mean he deserves to be here. No teammate has ever made me feel as bad about myself as Jamie did. Like, I'm mad at you. You didn't even talk to us about it. I didn't think there was anything to talk about. I told Jamie it wasn't going to happen. Oh. <laughs> oh, now no, I feel awkward. Because <laughs> you assumed. All right, you are a leader on this team. I want you to speak your mind. Hey, you know, my father says every time he sees you on TV, he's very happy that I am here. That I'm in, in safe hands with you. Oh, my Lord. Oh. Wow. You know I still gotta make you run a bunch of laps though, right? Oh, I was hoping you would. Okay, right. Keep going. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Very well handled, sir. Gee. <laughs> Jeez. Get the man a desk. Just get the man a desk. What are you doing? Sorry. What do you usually do with your lashes? I Nothing. leave them the fuck alone. Jamie Carragher sent me flowers. We fucking despise each other when we played. Now he's sending me flowers. How the fuck does he know I love white orchids? <laughs> I am an anti-cloister. Just be your charming self, Roy, and it's going to be exactly what they want. Because I'm sure they hired him to be Roy Kent. Oh, glad to have you on the show, Roy. Whatever. We're on in five seconds. Four, three, two. <laughs> what a match. Manchester United <laughs> beat Chelsea 1-0. United just had that extra sharpness in the final third. But I thought both... Is Roy watching soccer at least? Or football? Sorry! Is Roy watching football at least? Roy Kent, ex-Chelsea legend, joins us. Welcome, Roy. <laughs> Your former club play well? No. I thought they played like shit. <laughs> Roy Kent with some salty language. Would you care to elaborate, Roy? All right. Chelsea was shit today. <laughs> <laughs> That's shocking. That's harsh, Roy. United's been on a good run recently. Who's a shit, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> you can see it in their faces. Abject terror, like children waiting in line for the handsy father Christmas. <laughs> Have some f***ing pride in your shirt, or don't f***ing wear it. <laughs> that is how you do it. I enjoy his candle. Again, we apologise for... <laughs> you hired Roy Kent. You should know. Higgins, as a founding member of the Diamond Dogs. Diamond Dogs! So we'd like to ask you to move in with us down here with my man, Nate. I mean, only if it's OK with Nathan. Of course, of course yeah, of course. Before y'all bounce, I do have one piece of football business we need to discuss, and that is Jamie Tart's future with this team. I thought that was settled. Well, I did too. But then I was talking to Sam, and he unsettled it. Ooh. Sam just reminded me that he himself has got a great dad. Not everyone has that. It could also ruin morale to have someone in here just belittling everyone all the time. Will! Will! Not beneath the lockers, on the bench, man. Come on. Sorry. Nate needs his butt kicked. 
Thumbs up or thumbs down? Ask Rebecca. Come on, babe, say something. What, are you just gonna pretend like you hated it? You were amazing. Shit, you really did hate it. May I have your phone? But you don't ever have to do it again if you don't want to, so. Yeah, you helped me to help myself. So I wanted to thank you properly. Hit play. <gasps> so just some crying. <laughs> My retirement. <laughs> oh. uh <-huh. laughs> he knows his woman, and I applaud you, sir. Good night, Coach Lasso, and thank you for letting me observe training today. Some coaches get quite conspiratorial at the notion. Well, I didn't know I had a choice. <laughs> <laughs> There's a wonderful atmosphere here. All the employees are thoughtful and kind, and they actually listen to one another. But... You think we got ourselves a, if it ain't broke, don't fix the situation here, or what? That depends. Does everyone agree that being winless with eight straight draws ain't broke? Prince of Tides. Oh, is that your nickname for me? Yeah. Favorite book. No, Coach Lasso. My favorite book. Hello. Sorry to interrupt. I'm Sharon Fieldstone. Yes. She hasn't met Rebecca yet. What? What? I just wanted to stop by and thank you for the lovely gift basket of bottled water. Yes, well, Ted said you didn't eat sugar. There's so many other things that have sugar in them, though. <laughs> Sorry, I was just, um... Is Jamie Tart back? Ted, did he tell the team about this first? I'm taking it as a no. Why is Rebecca smiling? Because they're going to win? I think this one's going to be short because we're laying. We just added a few more pieces to the puzzle. I think Ted sees a potential son figure in Jamie. As he did with Roy. But I think he's parenting them as a, a oldest child and a youngest child. That's just what popped into my head. But because we, I don't know if Ted actually said to the team, hey, Jamie's coming and this is them going, oh, he's here now? Or if this is him blindsiding them. Because if he blindsided them, not good, Ted. Not good. You are starting to panic a little bit and lose your way. Sharon has knocked you on your ass, though. And Roy... Roy is the best. I see why everyone loves Roy. I didn't go in going, I'm not going to like Roy. No, I just had no idea how awesome Roy is at this point in time. She's the best. He's the best. So how does this disrupt the team? <laughs> well, shit's going down, y'all. Shit's going down. <gasps> okay, well, there's a go. Episode two, two, two. It's the golden episode. Ah! Thank you so much for being with me for this adventure. Do not be strangers. Make sure you hit that subscribe so you know when the next video drops. And this is your reminder to go eat something of substance. As I always say, toast is magical. Make it sweet. Make it savory. Just make sure you're nourishing your body. And then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time.